when our faith will be tested, how strong are we to stand firm amidst the storms of life? This morning, a story of faith and trust will be unfolded, only here on an experience with God. Hi, hello everyone. My name is Erica Oliveras. I'm currently here in Ontario, Canada. And I'm going to share my life-changing experience to you today regarding my uh, how my life is saved because of the Lord. So, yeah, my parents are basically Seventh-day Adventists. But unfortunately, we lost our track in faith for quite a long time. Until Adrian came into my life, who is a strong believer. He was actually my five-year long-term life partner. So he constantly invites me and my family to go to church and do Bible studies, things like that. But at first, I was so hesitant and, you know, like resistant to all of his invitations. Uh, because, to be honest, um, I was the typical person that has all the reasons on earth just to resist an invitation. Until one day, I was offered an opportunity abroad to pursue my nursing career. And I don't know, but I felt that I felt empty. I felt that something is really lacking in my life. I felt not ready. So yeah, I finally decided to come with Adrian and finish my Bible study lessons. And there you go, after all, the Bible study and everything, I come up to a decision to submit myself to the Lord and have baptized. And that was December 8th last year. So Adrian was the happiest man on earth in that day because that was he has longed for, for me to be saved. And then right after baptismal, when I stood down from that stage where we usually be baptized, a church elder randomly approached me and tell and told me like, Erica, be ready, be careful because your faith will be tested. So, yeah, I was felt I shocked. I was shocked and I was left speechless. I don't know what to say. I was scared. I was anxious. I was nervous, and tears just started falling from my eyes. And I don't know for what reason. So my mom and Adrian attended my baptism and little did I know that in that exact day, his fever started. And as a nurse, I am very critical to every symptom that he, he feels. So after the ceremony, he, feel, he felt like chills. He looks pale and very weak. But despite of it, he still managed to take photos and videos of my baptismal event which gone viral on Facebook today. So yeah, he never failed to document every precious moment in my life. And like I said, he is what he was my, you know, my Instagram boyfriend and yeah, he nailed it. When he had his arrest in the hospital, as a nurse, I knew exactly what will happen next. I mean, the possibilities of what will happen. Yes, I prayed for his life, but it, I really did not demand it to God. Instead, I prayed that he will help me to become resilient and to overcome this painful situation in my life. Like any other person who have lost their loved ones, I felt so sad and heartbroken, but it never came into a point that I blamed God for what had happened. And that's because of Adrian again. He led me to, uh, to the right path wherein I learned that death is not the end of life. I was spiritually prepared before he passed away. Everyone in this world has a mission and our existence has a purpose. Adrian accomplished his mission and has served his purpose. And because of that, I am forever thankful and grateful to the Lord that he gave Adrian to my life. Today, little by little, I find my calling. 
I am happy and excited to fulfill that assignment given to me by God. I could say that God answered my prayer. I become resilient and my faith to God has been strengthened. And that is Erica today. My prayer and message to all our viewers today, especially to those who are in trying times or who has been struggling in a painful situation in their lives for this year, 2019. Uh, my message to you is just be still and remember that God is much closer to you when you feel helpless. And remember that your painful situation now for this year will be your greatest testimony tomorrow and for the next years to come. So I would like to uh, take this opportunity and ko and then shout out to my friends and my family and friends in Cagayan de Oro, Adrian's family, the Rodrigo family. Hello, I hope you're doing fine there. And then Strada family and Olivera's family. Hello, and then pasalamat ni Todd ko sa akong mga friends nga naas ako during my hardest time. Ang um, party pips, hello. And of course, the Cagayan de Oro Medical Center nurses who were always there to help me every single day of that day. So, sa mga nag-share and nag-like sa photos and videos. So, thank you and I hope you learned a lesson out from it and then and yeah, it's more than 1 million views now and yeah, inana jud na if the God's, if it's God's word, it spreads like a fireball. So, happy holidays. Kisses from Canada. Bye.